The real challenge in AI is not just creating eye-catching images, that's easy. It's making designs that are practical, affordable and buildable. Today I'll be using AI to brainstorm some ideas for this octagon housing project. I'll explore real design inspirations and see how AI tools stack up against real buildings. If you missed the previous episode in this project series where I went to site, you can catch that on my channel. Now let's get started. These are the free tools we will use to generate design ideas. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to pin interest here. So right, just type in octagon shaped house, two bedroom, two floors. Let's try that. Okay, so I've got plans and images here. See, these are all real buildings, you see. This is quite nice. So this one's pretty good. I like this one. It's got two bedrooms, got a balcony upstairs, which is I, which I want. It's got kitchen and bedrooms, but I want bedrooms upstairs and kitchen and living room downstairs. It's going to be difficult to find something like that. Circular one there, that's quite good. See, these are quite practical. I can see myself building. That's not bad, actually, the balcony that sticks out at the top. I was thinking of using corrugated steel as well, so that's a good idea for cladding. So the good thing about pin interest, you can zoom in on that and it will find more. Now this is nice, I like this one. It doesn't look very octagon shaped, it looks circular, but that's one of the best ones I've seen and I've been looking for a few days, so I can look at some plans here as well. That's a good idea for a plan. It's got some, pl some rooms are open on ground floor. I could have a living room there. Yeah, so it's difficult to find a plan here. Just, there's no octagon houses I can find with three bedrooms upstairs. This is, so that's, that's one with three bedrooms upstairs and a stair. The thing that people don't understand is that you can't just copy and paste. Nearly every type of house is slightly different. This is where the design starts. You just get ideas. It's basically copying stuff, really. This is the reality of it. You find something you like and you just copy it. Anyone tells you differently is lying. I found three images I like there. I'll probably combine these three for inspiration. I'll show the clients if they like them as well. But now let's go on to AI. First of all, I'm going to use Mid Journey to see what I got. If you're not familiar with Mid Journey, it's a tool to create images from text prompts, enabling searches to quickly, creatively design visual content. Start off, type in slash image then a prompt should come up click that then type something for a search it's a bit weird here's a prompt i use to generate an image now it's creating something that's not that's not really um octagon is it i don't know why let's try again let's put octagon shaped house i don't know why it's not done on octagon house no uh, the interior is octagon shaped but exterior still not octagon shaped two stories though this is quite this is actually taking quite a bit of time actually compared to the other one they're all there straight away so i didn't put the location this time it's quite interesting it looks modern it, definitely modern and different more outrageous than the other ones like the real ones but like some of these are not really that practical to build i mean look at the one at the top left this that doesn't even look possible to build like even if it was it'd be very expensive i don't know where how you would build that like where what's holding all this up this i don't see columns in here that's supporting that that's maybe supporting that it's it's basically working out how that's going to be built i don't know if that's because these is this is not a real building i don't know how you would get that built it's figuring out how that would work especially in tanzania it's difficult that's not bad actually it's quite simple there's no balcony there though but you could add one that's similar to the ones i saw before i quite like that one if i do v1 i think that gives you more versions of that that image so let's, this will be quite interesting Oh, they're all similar though, aren't they? This one was quite nice. Um, and I showed the client, she quite liked it. And she even liked the stairs going around the side. So that's the best one I found. After searching for a long time, these are the best three. Okay, let's try and find a plan. Like, I'll just imagine a plan of an octagon shaped house. I don't, I'm not convinced it'll do any plan because what I've seen plans here, they're, they're a bit blurry and a bit... So this is some plans here. So, God knows what... I don't know. Uh, 
uh, not that great, are they? I'm going to go on to ChatGPT now. So I've been using this, and it's pretty bloody good. Um, let's try ChatGPT. So this is the new version of ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an AI tool to generate text, but the new version can generate images. Here's a prompt I use to generate an image. It's kind of octagon shape. It's not bad. It's a bit big. Let me to put small house, octagon shape, small house, house in Dallas. I'm not really having much success with this actually. This is like four stories now. They're a bit big. Like they're not bad, but uh, at least got balcony on it. Here's another one coming now. Uh, not that great, are they? How he's saying like I've already given you the in image of it. He's saying, <laughs> I just said, give me another one then. I tried this the other day and it's a lot better. Like I don't know. It depends what day you're using it or something. Ah, this is nice. I like the top floor looks nice. The roof. I experimented with different search terms and then tweaked them until I found something I liked. A bit more modern. I see this got a stair inside. That's quite nice. The open stair. And upstairs is quite nice. The glass. That's not bad if I can take off the middle floor. I, th I don't know how you would tell it to take off the middle floor now. I don't think it, I can't go back to that and just reply to it though. That's the thing. So I'll save that one. So that's not bad. After session for a while, these are my three best ones I found. Let's try a plan before the end. Okay, that's interesting. Oh god, I don't know the living <laughs> put the living the dining room in the middle or something, or there's no natural light in that unless you're a roof light, but that doesn't look normal that <laughs> so the plans are all, what I've seen of AI the the plans are just they're all like that they're just it's just like inspirational plans it's nonsense basically nonsense I've got a few I think for practicality the original ones were good but like, for inspiration then AI is good for that. You can get a lot of ideas, I think. So I think what it is, is it gets your imagination going. It gives you a lot of ideas and it's basically looking at student projects. Some of them are not, they're not built. So it gives you inspiration and design ideas and you just take those bits and use those. So I think at the moment, I thought this is what I've been using AI for. It's just basically around this design stage just to come up with ideas really and help you like I did really save a few and then combine those ideas and maybe use those as inspiration to design something. I'll show them to the client as well. I'll see what she likes, what she doesn't like. I don't think she'll like the crazy ones very much, but I'll at least show those ones. So if you want to see the next video when I actually start designing this thing, I'll put that here when it's up. And the previous video when I went to site for this project, you see the location, I'll put that here and I'll see you over there.